In this video we're looking at something called a differential manometer. A differential manometer is very similar to the YouTube manometer we looked at in the previous video. The only difference being that on this side of the YouTube, instead of the manometer being open to the atmosphere, it's connected to a second pipe. So what this means is if we know all of the heights of the fluid in the manometer and we know the pressure in this pipe PB, we can work out the pressure in this pipe PA. Or if we know the pressure in this pipe PA, we can work out the pressure in this pipe PB. Or finally, if we don't know either of the pressures PA or PB, but we do know the heights of the liquids, we can then work out the difference between PA and PB, or PB and PA. And that's what we have in this example. So H1 is 0.3 metres, H2 is 0.2 metres, and H3 is 0.25 metres. We have water in both of the pipes, and the gauge fluid in the manometer is mercury with a specific gravity of 13.6. And what we want to work out in this example is the pressure difference between these two pipes. So to start with, what we have to do is find the point in which we have find the point in the YouTube where we have the same fluid on both sides. Okay, so if we draw a line here, we can see that we've got mercury on both sides. So everywhere below this line has mercury in it. The two things that we know about this YouTube is that we can neglect everything below this line because as we go down here, we're going to get an increase in pressure but on the other side we'll go back up by the same amount so we'll get a decrease in pressure equal to the increase in pressure on this side so the total pressure difference between these two points is zero so we can ignore everything below the line above the line if the system is in static equilibrium so if none of the fluids are moving then we know that the pressure pushing down on this side of the line must be the same as the pressure pushing down on this side of the line it's just like a set of scales. If a set of scales isn't moving, it's because you have the same weight on both sides. And if these fluids aren't going up or down, that's because the same pressure is pushing on this side as on this side. So what we can now do is try to solve this problem. And the first thing we have to remember is that pressure is equal to the density of fluid times gravity times the height of that fluid that's our central rule that we'll use to solve all of these types of problems. So what we now need to do is equate the pressure pushing down on this side of the line with the pressure pushing down on this side of the line. So what pressure do we have pushing down on this side? Well, firstly we have PA in this pipe, so we have PA. We then have the pressure from this column of water here. So that's going to be the density of water, we'll call it density 1, times gravity, times H1. That's the total pressure pushing on this side of the line. On this side of the line we have pressure B, plus the pressure due to this column of water here. So we'll say density 1, times gravity, times H3. Added to the pressure from this column of mercury here, so we'll say mercury has a density of density 2 times by gravity times by H2. So now we've got an equation to describe what's going on in this system. If we knew what PB was, we could rearrange the equation to get PA. If we knew what PA was, we could rearrange the equation to get PB. Or as in this example, if we don't know either of them, we can rearrange the equation to get the pressure difference. So the pressure difference is PA minus PB. And that equals to the density of water times gravity times H3. Plus the density of mercury times gravity times H2. Then we're going to move this set of terms to the other side, so we're going to minus the density of water times gravity times H1. So the pressure difference is going to equal 1000 for the density of water times 9.81 times H3 
3, which is 0.25. Plus the density of mercury, well we know the specific gravity is 13.6, so the density is 13.6 times the density of water, times 9.81, times H2, which is 0.2, and then minus the density of water times gravity, times H1, which is 0.3, and if you put all of that into a calculator, it will give you a pressure difference of 26192.7 newtons per meter squared. So what we're saying here is that the pressure difference between these two pipes is this value, or what we're saying is that pressure A is this amount of pressure more than pressure B.